I am Dan Stanzione. I'm the Deputy Director here at the Texas Advanced Computing Center at the University of Texas at Austin. We strive to be a leader in what we call advanced computing or research computing. So we build uh, among the largest computer systems, storage systems, visualization systems, all in support of primarily scientific discovery, and in particular scientific discovery as it impacts society. Um, so in this particular project, we're advancing our supercomputing capability to build bigger and faster systems that people use to simulate all sorts of phenomena from the very smallest scale things around nanoscale materials to the very largest phenomena like colliding black holes and the formation of the universe. And also to do the sort of new large scale data analysis that you need to do in genomics or in environmental observations or satellite data or anything else. You know, we're building a system with a four year lifespan we're building it with a plan that starts two years before it's deployed, and you know, IT life cycles are pretty short, so you always want to reach and get the most aggressive set of technologies that you can. So we have the challenge of scale and a new data rate and very large switches going in there. Even the chassis that we put them in, all of our Dell products are also very new designs. And so the Dell Zeus chassis that we're using for the compute blades, we selected because it gives us a very dense package that can hold these Xeon Phi coprocessors or big PCI cards, and you can't put them in a traditional blade. So we needed something we could put a big card into, but still give us a dense rack of systems. And so uh, we were pleased to work with DCS on refining the design for that so we could really pack those into the rack as densely as we like to. And then we're also using the Dell Scorpion chassis as the latest way to pack a whole lot of commodity disk power into a fairly small shelf. And you can go pop the disks out and replace them um, while the whole cabinet's running um, and have a really easy way to do that without having to take cables apart. Physically, the system is of enormous scale. It's nearly 200 compute racks. It's nearly 500,000 pounds of computer. It's nearly 75 miles of cable. It takes over five megawatts. It has more than 100,000 processor cores of Intel Xeon processors. It has an additional several hundred thousand cores of the Xeon Phi mini integrated core processors, almost a half a million threads of concurrency. It'll process close to 10 petaflops of overall performance, so that's about 10 quadrillion mathematical operations per second. It has more than 250 terabytes of RAM. It has about 14 petabytes of disk storage, so from just a physical and computational perspective, it's huge. And we expect it to do science, you know, of that scale. And once we get things uh, tuned up, we'll start running the early science runs, where we'll put some users on and begin tuning the system to run, uh, hopefully, some of the biggest simulations the world's ever seen.